Hi, my name is Josh Jackman, and I'm an assistant professor in the School of Chemical Engineering at Simgang Guan University. It's my pleasure today uh, to introduce my lab, the Translational Nano Bioscience Lab, as part of the 2021 Asia Korea Conference. Uh, most importantly, uh, beyond my current affiliation, I'm also a uh, proud alumnus of uh, Professor Namjoon Cho's research group at uh, Nanyang Technological University. And it's, it's great to be back for AKC as an alumni and to give a little bit uh, brief introduction to what my research group is working on, uh, life in Korea, and you know, opening the door to any kind of potential collaborations or um, educational opportunities. So first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, Sung Gyeonggwan University. Uh, there's two campuses, one in downtown uh, Seoul, that's the main campus for the humanities and social science. And also the second campus uh, is in Suwon, about 30 minute drive or 60 minute drive, depending on the traffic, uh, south of Seoul. Uh, that's the main campus for the engineering and sciences. And it's where I'm located, kind of in the greater Seoul metropolitan area. Uh, here's a picture of the library called the Samsung Library. Uh, since Sung Gyeonggwan University or SKKU is um, supported by the Samsung Foundation. Uh, and also some picture of the campus map. I put in a circle um, our building engineering building two, which is one of the main buildings for the college engineering uh, where the chemical engineering department is located. Uh, in these pictures, uh, everything looks green. Uh, most of the year it's very beautiful. Uh, now it's almost winter time, so uh, it's getting a little colder and sometimes we get snow in the uh, winter time. Uh, this is quite interesting when, when people from Singapore visit. I've had uh, students from NTU visit, including uh, students from Professor Cho's group, such as Tunal, as many of you who are listening to this may know. Uh, they enjoy making snowmen, for example. Uh, so SKKU has really four seasons. Um, quite different than my experience in Singapore, where, you know, like Florida, where I'm from, every day is hot and humid. Uh, so it's kind of a nice change in, in season. Uh, and just on the bottom right here is, is a lake uh, called Huang Song Lake, which is about uh, one subway stop away from the campus, but it's a very beautiful place for kind of walking, kind of nature. So you know, I really like being in the Suwon area. Um, you have you know kind of beautiful lakes, a great campus. Uh, we have two subway stops away from Outback Steakhouse. So as an American, you know, sometimes I love Korean food, but sometimes I want a steak. Hey, fantastic. So in terms of actually what our group does research on, you know, we're really interested in uh, doing research at the interface of nanobiotechnology and translational science. Uh, so you know, we're actively interested in areas such as antiviral technologies to stop viruses, and also how we can uh, potentially extend, extend those technologies to stop other types of membrane envelope uh, biological nanoparticles, such as exosomes. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, development of biosensors uh, for pharmaceutical drug development, uh, especially based on membrane interactions. And we're very interested in lipid membrane biophysics. Um, this can span the spectrum from kind of fundamental membrane investigations, effects of different uh, environmental conditions or lipid compositions, uh, all the way through more recently um, to looking at multivalent interactions relevant to virus and exosomes. And, um, binding you know, to cell membranes, for example, or to lipid nanoparticle development. Um, regardless of the research topic, you know, one thing that really uh, inspired me uh, when I was in NTU and really, you know, shaped my viewpoint on how to build a research group was a strong focus on global team building and innovation. Now we're really trying to build the research group uh, that has an international focus and is very committed um, to kind of, you know, thinking from diverse perspectives. So we currently have three postdoctoral fellows and, and six graduate students plus interns from around the world. Um, students from Korea, Myanmar, uh, India, uh, uh, Malaysia, Ethiopia, intern from Turkey. So we really try to be very um, global minded. And we also are actively participating in international education and research programs. Uh, for example, we have uh, two students uh, in the SKKU NT dual PhD degree program. One recently graduated, uh, Tunal, congratulations if you're listening to this. Another one, Hyunjin, about to go to NTU for the second half of her PhD. So we're very interested in, in these kind of uh, joint you know, educational programs uh, increasing more. We have some activities, joint uh, master's kind of internship program with the EU, or some uh, universities in the EU being developed now. And we're, we're really looking to you know, think about uh, global team building 
in educational and research aspects. And, and this also extends to you know, cooperation in, in uh, collaboration agreements with universities and private companies in the US, Europe, Korea, Singapore. So we wanna kind of keep building that. So it's kind of a very unique aspect of our group, you know, this global perspective. And as I mentioned, you know, we've really um, done a lot of research on antiviral technology to stop uh, viruses. This, you know, originally started during my graduate studies at NTU and, and a postdoc at Stanford. And we really kind of keep trying to push the, the boundaries of how we think about peptide engineering, uh, lipid envelope antiviral disruption. You know, our work on these topics has appeared in journals such as Nature Materials, uh, ACS Nano, and now it's starting to get traction um, from kind of a wider science audience, you know, including news pieces that have been featured in Nature and Nature Biotechnology this year, um, really understanding how lipid antiviral, uh, anti, an, lipid antiviral, antiviral, uh, excuse me, lipid envelope antiviral disruption, the lead concept, how targeting the lipid membrane of envelope viruses is really a promising as a next generation uh, antiviral strategy. So, you know, we've done a lot of great work and, and I see a really bright future ahead of us. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, this has recently been featured you got Nature homepage, for example, uh, the race for antiviral drugs to be COVID in the next uh, pandemic. Uh, this is just the beginning, you know, there's been more coverage since then of the concepts. You know, recently we showed uh, that most recent uh, epidemics and pandemics have been caused by enveloped viruses. Uh, so this really, you know, creates a new momentum uh, to develop uh, membrane envelope targeting antiviral strategies. So we're very excited, uh, not only from the science that we've, we've been putting forth, but also the kind of, kind of conceptual framework uh, looking forward to what is possible in the future and why targeting the lipid membrane is so important uh, and really where it can head in the future. So a lot of this work has involved you know, development of various uh, biosensing strategies for, for drug development, antiviral peptides, antimicrobial lipids. Uh, nanoplasmonic sensors have been a really key part of deciphering how membrane curvature um, can be used as, as a uh, selectivity mechanism. So a lot of different nanofabrication work and use of nanoplasmonic sensing strategies and really building up the bioanalytical uh, framework as well. Uh, also, you know, together with uh, Professor Namjoon Cho and Professor Paul Weiss at UCLA, we've been looking at kind of micro patterning strategies and also single vesicle platforms uh, for really understanding uh, how these type of biosensors can be used to study uh, interactions between model virus particles or actual virus particles with antiviral peptides. I believe at AKC, some other um, of my colleagues have given more detailed talks on this kind of uh, topic, but it's very exciting. And then also, you know, we've really been you know, studying a lot about lipid nanotechnology in terms of supported lipid bilayer fabrication, uh, membrane bioengineering or membrane engineering for biological process studies uh, involving kind of uh, exosomes, virus particles, or liposomes interacting with, with uh, receptor functionalized supported lipid bilayers. Uh, really understanding how we can harness the potential of acoustic and optical biosensors, especially that localized surface plasma uh, sensor technique, LSPR, uh, really to really maximize our understanding of these systems, understand how the physical chemical properties of the, the lipid nanostructures uh, drive uh, the interactions and how the structure influences energetic aspects. So there's a lot of exciting work going on in those areas. Uh, you know, one of the things I really got a lot of benefit uh, from uh, studying in NTU and, and, and my experience as a graduate student in Singapore was really, you know, learning how group success is equal to student success. So in my lab, uh, for people that are interested, maybe watching this and want to do an internship or consider graduate school or postdoc, I really think carefully about what can you learn in our lab. Uh, so from a research perspective, training perspective, you know, I think how can you design, conduct, and analyze research uh, with increasing independence? Uh, how can you really build cross-disciplinary teamwork and, and, you know, get involved in industry collaborations? And really, you know, practically working in an international research environment, not only, you know, sitting in the office with people from different backgrounds, which is important, how do we make teams of people with different backgrounds, different viewpoints, different skill sets, uh, to achieve, you know, a, a higher common purpose, you know, answering big scientific questions and, and you know, having fun while we do it. Um, in terms of professional development, you know, I really take it uh, seriously that every individual has a different goal. Uh, my goal for my life is not going to be the same goal as for your life or for the student sitting next to you, uh, but I try to really tailor the, the professional development in our lab um, for students that are interested in kind of academic research tracks or industry career tracks. I try to define the kind of research objectives and type of project 
uh, based on what you know would probably be a good fit for you in terms of not only the topic but the skills development. Uh, we, we're working on it and we are continuing to improve our opportunities for industry and international internship possibilities. So having discussions with, with companies internationally and also local industry about as well as academic organizations about student, sending students abroad for internships. Uh, there's you know increasingly in the lipid field, a lot of companies are interested in hiring students um, with lipid backgrounds. There's, there's really not that many worldwide. Um, so uh, trying to build kind of a job opportunity platforms, and I hope to keep improving that as time goes on. Uh, and also, you know, global communication is, is very important, not only um, language, but also kind of um, you know, sensitivity and understanding people from different backgrounds, uh, viewpoints. So we try to, you know, really stress teamwork, but also uh, get people to, to kind of experience, um, you know, interacting with people from different backgrounds, viewpoints, cultures, um, to, to really, you know, build a more rich uh, uh, atmosphere uh, during graduate studies or during professional, you know, postdoc experience because I think global communication skills is, is one of the greatest um, challenges, but also one of the greatest benefits of working in an international research environment. Uh, really understanding how you can you know, find the common ground uh, with people from different backgrounds, uh, how you can find solutions together, um, discuss challenges, discuss opportunities, and become friends ultimately. Uh, but, but more than just friends, become professional colleagues that, that have a common mission to work together in, in various capacities and really solve exciting problems and, and while developing your professional skills. Uh, so, you know, thank you for listening to this alumni talk today. It's my great pleasure uh, to be invited back to AKC to give this talk. Uh, here I just show a few pictures of our group. Um, some of the pictures are a bit early stage. Um, our group's been growing, but due to COVID, we haven't really got together as a uh, total group uh, for a little bit. But uh, here is a picture on the left of me uh, during my honeymoon in a, in a beautiful area of Korea called Sokcho in the, in the northeast part of the country. Uh, they have really delicious crab. So I you know, highly recommend it. If, if you ever come to Korea, please let me know. I'll give you the name of the restaurant. Um, some nice group pictures, you know, really highlighting how international our group is. Uh, in these pictures, you know, we had two students from NTU visiting, uh, Brenda and Jenny, both did great jobs. Uh, we had two students from the NTU uh, SKQ uh, joint PhD program in the pictures, uh, two um, postdoc staff that were trained in Singapore and, and moved back to Korea, and another graduate student that will be um, completing a master's in our group before hopefully moving to the U.S. for graduate studies. Uh, for PhD studies. So we really have a wide range of people with different backgrounds, and we're really happy to you know, support your professional development. And most importantly, you know, as you can see, we also try to have some fun, uh, good food. And here you can see a picture of our first PhD graduate, uh, Tuna Sut, the graduate of the NT, first graduate of the NTUSKQ dual PhD program, uh, playing with the snowman. So not only do we have kind of new opportunities educationally, but also uh, in Korea life, you know, uh, you know, a student from Singapore making his first snowman for his life. You know, we li we like these kind of simple but important things. Uh, overall, we try to make a team environment so people are happy inside and outside the lab, and ultimately um, successful in terms of uh, individual skills development, professional development, and doing great research. So thank you for listening to this. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to contact me at jjackman at skku.edu. Happy to answer your questions, uh, discuss further. If you just want to talk sometime, I'm happy to do so. If you want to uh, you know, join our research group or explore joining our research group in any capacity, happy to discuss. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you have a great rest of the conference, and I'll see everyone soon.